Hello, insufferable gaming fans. We're back again for more ice levels. Okay, last time I think I figured out exactly how to pull this off. So we'll see. The important thing is not to get burned by these walking flames. It's easier said than done. Much easier said than done. But first, I just want to get out of their way. Trap one of them up here. And leave the rest of them be. Then all I gotta do is get that one to... Trundle right on across and melt the rest of that junk for me. And mostly just stay out of his way until I can get him back down to the bottom again. Meanwhile, I'll be picking up the items so that I don't have to again later. Now, if I can avoid this fire... Yeah, that was ridiculously close. Now all I gotta do is get down, get down there, pick up the key. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Ah! And Mario goes floating down slowly in flames. Where smashed and broken, he regrets the poor choices that he made in his life that led to his girlfriend being captured by a giant ape. If only he knew what was in store for him later. The moral of this story is that if you ever date Mario, you're going to be captured by something. Whether it be a giant lizard, a giant monkey, or maybe just the Yakuza. Mario does not have good luck with women. You know what? I'm getting these flames out of here. Before they start causing me more problems. I've got a bad feeling about this. Take a drink. This has all become a matter of timing at this point. Something I know nothing about. And the flames. And I somehow managed to dick that up real good. Amazingly, none of those landed where I needed them to. Okay. I'm bound to win this time. Bound to. Well, that was a lot closer than it needed to be. But ultimately, I feel I could win this one. Okay. I have all the items, right? Right? Just gotta get that key up to that place. Without screwing up, don't you dare screw up, Mario. Get it? Get up there, get up there. Do what he say. Ha <laughs> ha. About time. That level was more painful than it needed to be. But ultimately, success. Come on, three up. And just missed it. Sigh. Oh god, there's still another one before we face the ape. Oh good, there's water involved too. This just keeps getting better. Well, at least all the items we need are in... You know, 
fairly normal spots. Plus, there's a 1-up right near the beginning. I'm going to use that to hedge my opportunities. Now, let's see. I don't know if we can reach a ladder from the water, but let's find out now. Uh, no. That's alright. Hmm. Not sure how to get that purse yet. Okay, I'm gonna need to stick a ladder down from the bottom of the pond. And climb it down into who knows what. Whilst avoiding a squid. Ah, avoid the squid faster, douche. Take a drink. That's no way to avoid a squid. Again, luckily, that one up's there to hedge my bets. Also, I'm going to have to go down to the bottom there and then pop back up so that we'll be able to get that ladder on the screen where I need it. Okay, now I'm just being sloppy. Let's try sticking that on this side. Looks like we got exactly as much room to dodge the squid. Whoa, that was close. Ah, walrus. Okay, let's see here. We'll stick a platform there. Take a drink. I have no idea how I'm going to avoid that. Looks like this level's going to take a lot of doing. Hmm. Is there any easy way to do this? I've yet to see it. Let's take a look here. Alright. I can get up here. But then what? If I'd hurried up, I probably could have gotten everything in one convenient location. But I didn't. And that ultimately will cost me. Hmm. Maybe... If I can't get through here... I can come back around from up here somehow. But how feasible is it, I wonder? At any rate, I'm going to have to wait for my ladder to respawn so I can have something to work with. Now all i got to do is reach that before the time runs out and... I can somehow get there in time. Hmm. I guess that wasn't it after all. I need a platform. Ah, I see. A little creative keys. I can't believe I didn't think of that sooner. Well, I can believe that I didn't think of it sooner, but... That's not the kind of thing that I generally think of with any haste. So now, all I gotta do is get back up there again. So. I'll have to be quick. And it might not even be remotely feasible. 
But I'm still gonna try like hell. Nope. No such luck. Looks like I'm gonna have to go around. So, to go around... What's the best way to do this? I honestly just have no bloody idea. Okay, put this under the door. Good. That wasn't what I wanted under the door. In fact, that was nothing at all. And I'm way over my time, so until next time, this is Ross, we'll take a break.